The year is 1929, and the first Academy Awards ceremony takes place at the Hollywood Roosevelt Hotel. The tickets are $5, 270 people attend, and the ceremony lasts 15 minutes. There were 10 categories in effect that night. Best Engineering Effects, Best Title Writing, Best Art Direction, Best Cinematography, Best Original Story, Best Adaptation, Best Actor, Best Actress, Best Director for a Comedy Picture, Best Director for a Dramatic Picture, Best Unique and Artistic Picture, and Outstanding Picture. Two honorary awards were also presented, one to Charlie Chaplin for The Circus, and to Warner Brothers Productions for producing The Jazz Singer. That year, two categories were regarded as the highest honors, Unique and Artistic Picture, which was awarded to the movie Sunrise, and Outstanding Picture, which was won by the movie Wings. The following year, the award for Unique and Artistic Picture was dropped, and Outstanding Picture was considered the highest honor a movie can win. Today, you might have guessed it, this category is known as Best Picture. Today, Wings isn't really remembered for anything else other than being the first Best Picture winner, and one of the two silent films that won that award. Nowadays, very few people have seen it, which is a shame considering that it really is a great movie that has revolutionized a more technical side of cinema with jaw-dropping airborne sequences produced without any CGI. The story of Wings is a fairly simple one. Girl Next Door Mary Preston likes Jake Powell, Jack likes Sylvia Lewis, Sylvia likes David Armstrong, and David also likes Sylvia. When both boys enlist as fighter pilots during World War I, an unlikely friendship forms between them. You'll also get a Gary Cooper cameo that propelled him to fame, a lot of aerial scenes, and an ending that could very much make you cry. The movie was directed by William A. Wellman, who was then only 29 years old. Being himself a former pilot and decorated war hero, he was the only director in Hollywood with such credentials to his name, and seemed the perfect choice. He was nicknamed Wild Bill because of his larger-than-life personality, which would sometimes bring him troubles. The movie was filmed in San Antonio, Texas, with a budget of $2 million. The U.S. government helped in supplying 220 planes and hundreds of skilled extras. The studio originally wanted Neil Hamilton and Charles Farrow as the main leads, while Wellman didn't. Charles Buddy Rogers, a 22-year-old actor from Kansas, and 26-year-old Richard Arlen ended up being cast as the main characters. Since the movie was going to be Paramount's largest production of the year, the movie also needed someone who was already a huge star, and found that person in Clara Bow, one of the industry's biggest stars at the time, who had been a top box office draw since 1925. The production of the movie was from September 7, 1926 to April 7, 1927, which was quite a large amount of time compared to other movies from that era, which were shot in a few weeks. There were several delays which costed a lot of money to Paramount, and Wellman was almost fired more than once. Because of the weather, they would sometimes go days without filming, the longest hiatus going on 18 days. There were many risks involved when filming the movie. Real explosions were used, Wellman directing them from a 100-foot platform holding a board on which each button was attached to an explosive charge that had to go off at a very specific time during shooting. Wellman got interrupted during the shooting of one of these scenes and pressed the wrong button. The accident wasn't fatal, but one of the actors hit by the explosion was unconscious. Other scenes that involved large risks were the flying scenes. One of the things that made Wings so special were the incredible airborne sequences that still hold up more than 90 years later. Wellman's son, William Wellman Jr., said this of the stunts. Before 1926, there had been some aerial warfare work in films. However, flying footage was gathered from independent sources, government-financed films, and with the use of miniatures. Actors were not seen in actual flight. But Wellman wanted the movie to be realistic. The shots were filmed in the air and not in the studio, 
with the real actors being filmed in the airplanes. No replacement by stunt doubles. To make the shots, cameras had to be mounted to the front and back of the airplanes and film the actors as they flew. While Richard Arlen had flown in World War I, Charles Rogers had no previous experience in flying an aircraft and would routinely get sick and throw up after each flying scene. For the trickier shots in which airplanes fell from the sky or collided with the ground, professional stuntmen had to be used. Dick Grace was a stuntman on the set of the movie who would crash planes for these particular shots. He ended up smashing his head on the instrument panel of his airplane and broke his neck. He was expected to wear a neck brace for a year, but took it off after only six weeks and went back to crashing airplanes. When the movie was finally completed, it premiered at the Criterion Theatre and was screened for 63 weeks. The movie did great financially and was praised by the critics for its aerial dogfight sequences, but still drew criticism for its superficial plot. Wellman wasn't nominated for Best Director and wasn't even invited to the premiere of his own movie or the Academy Awards ceremony. This was probably due to his fights with the studio and its producers. He would continue to work in the business, notably directing The Public Enemy and writing and directing the original A Star Is Born. Still, out of all the movies he made, he would consider Wings to be his masterpiece. In conclusion, Wings is a masterfully directed and visually stunning movie that still holds up today and is very much deserving of its title as the last great silent film. <laughs>